Now to a strange murder investigation in Pennsylvania. Prosecutors say a woman killed her husband because he was leaving on an overseas trip to see his other wife. Deanna Durante from WCAU, the NBC station in Philadelphia, has the story. It's a crime that rarely touches this upscale neighborhood in Ambler outside Philadelphia. A reported break-in and murder. The victim here, 47-year-old Geraldine Morton. It's so quiet around here. It's not, usually nothing goes on. Neighbors would soon learn what investigators allege was happening behind the doors of this million-dollar home. The Mortons recently came into millions after a successful lawsuit. They moved from their Philadelphia row house in 2005 to this sprawling estate. Six million dollars is an awfully large motive. Wife Myra Morton, her daughter, son-in-law, and grandchild were unhurt in the attack last Sunday morning. Police say Mrs. Morton reported she was asleep next to her husband and woke to gunshots and a person fleeing the bedroom. Police say there were no signs of forced entry and nothing was taken. Prosecutors say Morton's story just didn't add up. They say physical evidence shows she was not next to her husband in bed and Morton was killed with his own gun. They ask how would an intruder find it and use it undetected. Do you have anything to say to your children? Then there was the bombshell Myra Morton provided, according to police. Wife? They say her husband had recently taken a second wife, a woman who was living in Morocco. It was only after that woman sent an email to WCAU-TV in Philadelphia. They say they learned her identity and how to contact her. Investigators say Zahara Torrell, the second Mrs. Morton, provided more shocking details. She and Geraldine Morton were planning to conceive a child on his visit with her, only he died hours before boarding the plane. She was ovulating, that she actually had seen doctors, she was preparing herself to have a child. Prosecutors say Myra Morton was angry with the arrangement and had written what they call a poison pen letter to the State Department in April, accusing her husband's second wife of being a terrorist. She was really trying to protect her turf. Prosecutors say Morton had packed gifts for his new wife, including lingerie they found tossed in the backyard. Morton said nothing when she was arraigned on murder charges Thursday, but her husband's second wife is talking about her. In an email, she says if she had known her husband would have died over the marriage, she would have canceled it. Morton's legal team isn't talking about the million-dollar fortune, the second wife, or Mr. Morton's baby plans. She lost her husband. She's lost her liberty. She's gone to jail. She's got a one-year-old granddaughter that lived with her, along with her daughter. And she's understandably, understandably devastated. Prosecutors also allege that Myra Morton, a short time before the murder, purchased a GPS tracking device, one that would be put on a car and could withstand any type of weather. Right now, she's being held without bail, charged with first-degree murder. Prosecutors here say they have yet to decide whether or not they're going to seek the death penalty. Deanna Durante for NBC News, Norristown, Pennsylvania.